superintendent for the Chippewa and Heartland regions up in the northwest part of the state. And I bring greetings to you from Bishop Lee and from the other superintendents. We are grateful for your presence here. Our intention is to help you have the best, most lively and fruitful transition ever. So we're thankful for all of you clergy and spouses and staff parish relations committee members who have taken time today to be with us. I give thanks to St. Paul's United Methodist Church and their um, willingness to open their doors to us today. And I'm, I don't think anybody from St. Paul's is actually in the room right now. Some of them were around getting ready to go out on some mission work this morning, but they um, graciously allowed us to use their building. You probably saw on the uh, invitation that lunch will be served here today at about 12.15. Meanwhile, there are some snacks and some beverages, water, coffee, and uh, hot water for tea over on the, this side of the room. The restrooms are located just out the door of the fellowship hall and down to your left, and there are also some way down the hall to your right. So if you um, have trouble finding them, keep walking, because they're there. <laughs> I want to give thanks to Reverend Mark Fowler, who is to my right right now. Mark is our main presenter for the day, and he serves at your Evangelical Theological Seminary in Evanston, Illinois, and I'm sure he'll give you a little more of an introduction of himself when he begins to speak. I want to give thanks to Bob Miller and Terry Dorenbush, our uh, outgoing moving director and incoming moving director who are also going to present something today to help us with the physical um, moving van information and things we need to know about that part of the process. On the sign-in sheets, I, I didn't do a good job of making the columns that I actually needed, so we do actually need an email address from each of you because on Monday, we're going to be emailing you some uh, handouts that um, you can read and print at your leisure. You might want to copy them for your staff parish relations committee, however you see fit. So we, uh, we'd like you to leave that email address on the sign-in sheet for us, please, if you would. I want to call your attention to the um, green sheet that was a uh, handout able to be picked up on the back table. That's an evaluation assessment today that will help us know what went well today and what we might have done differently or better. So have a look at it now so that you can be writing your comments and ideas on there during the day. And at the end of the day, you can just leave them on your table and we'll pick them up. And then the salmon colored sheet is just an agenda for what we're going to be doing today. Next, I would like to get us focused on God in our midst. I've chosen a reading today from Isaiah chapter 43, <coughs> verses 16 through 21, which is a passage that I like to turn to when something new is coming about in my life. And I think it's a good encouragement for all of us. Some of us here are receiving new pastors and saying goodbye to other pastors. Some of us are saying goodbye to our congregation and hello to a new congregation. We're packing up our belongings and um, moving our families to new communities. All of that is stressful, and I think it's important for us to focus on the fact that God is with us and ready to be with us in new things, helping us to be fruitful in our endeavors. <clears throat> so this is Isaiah 43, 16. And I probably should have brought a larger print that <laughs> <laughs> This is what God says. The God who builds a road right through the ocean, who carves a path through pounding waves. The God who summons horses and chariots and armies. They lie down and then can't get up. They're snuffed out like so many candles. God says, forget about what has happened. Don't keep going over old history. Be alert. Be present. I am about to do something brand new. It's bursting out. Don't you see it? There it is. I am making a road through the desert, rivers in the badlands. Wild animals will say thank you, the coyotes and the buzzards. 
because I provided water in the desert, rivers through the sun-baked earth, drinking water for the people I chose, the people I made especially for myself, a people custom-made to praise me. Thanks be to God for God's holy word. And I pray that you will be able to see God at work among you. Certainly there will be bumps along the road. Certainly there will be times when you and others in your midst feel that perhaps you are thirsting. But let's recognize that God is always ready and able to quench our thirst in times such as these. God wants to lift us up and to allow us to be in places in our lives with our Christian brothers and sisters where we do have a good spirit among us, where we are enjoying life. I think back to just a moment ago when the, the chatter in this room was lively and loud and people were anxious to connect with each other. I believe that that's what God wants for all of us. May it be so in your transition. Now, as a way of getting connected with each other, I'm going to ask each of you to stand when it's your turn, because we don't have a microphone that travels around the room. And I'm going to ask you to use your best teacher voice or preacher voice to let the uh, gathered people know, first, what your name is, second, where you are living currently, and if you are when you tell where you are currently, tell us what part of the state that's in because Mark Fowler comes from Illinois and he's maybe a little Wisconsin challenge. <laughs> and it helps him to just get a sense of where we are all located. So um, clergy, you can tell um, which congregation you're currently serving and which one you're going to be serving. Tell, them, tell us the cities uh, for both of those. And then I'd like all of you, both the clergy and the lay people, to tell us briefly, very briefly, one thing that you are looking forward to in your new appointment. One thing that you're looking forward to in your new appointment, okay? All right. I'm going to start right over here at the front table. <laughs> Who is the bold one? Scott, thank you. I'm Scott Walters. I'm uh, currently serving at the Lodi United Methodist, Methodist Church just north of Madison, Wisconsin. And I'm going to be going to Peace Church in uh, Brookfield, uh, Wisconsin, outside of uh, Milwaukee. And I, I don't know, I, I guess the thing I'm looking, if I could say one thing, maybe going to a couple more Brewer games. <laughs>
grocery store that has a wall of chocolate charles. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let's go to the next table. Lon, you want to start? I'm Lon Jury, uh, presently serving Cataract Melrose, which is over by Black River Falls. Uh, I will be moving to Augusta Pleasant Valley, which is closer to Eau Claire. Uh, and I am looking forward to a very active and energetic uh, congregation.
of the SPRC Committee of the Sailor Red Methodist Church in the Bok Shah. You can introduce yourself. We'd be glad to know you. I'm Tangalog. That's all right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Pastor Dan Erdogan. I'm currently serving Loma United Methodist Church. It's all over there on Lake Geneva, the Kenosha side. And I'll be uh, moving to the other side to Cuba City and see over by Dubuque. And the one thing that I'm looking forward to is my first full time appointment and making new relationships. Thank you. I'm Bob Burke. I'm a member of SPRC Albright, uh, Milwaukee. Uh, I'm looking forward to new challenges. Accelerated by current challenges, current ways to learn, looking for new ways to learn. Thank you. Great. I am Pastor Jorge Luis Mayorga, and I am serving currently as a district superintendent for the Metro North and Metro South District. So I'm finishing my eighth year in the academy. So I give thanks to the Lord for that opportunity and going to serve to work as a sailor. Perfectly July 1st, so I give thanks to God for that opportunity. And I'm looking forward to uh, preach every Sunday and preach the word of God <laughs> and to grow spiritually in Asadir as I join the members of Bakish uh, Asadir in the faith journey. Um, I'm Krista Didi, and I'm currently serving as a district lay member of the Manani Policy Manual Community Staff as director of the ministry. I will be serving uh, Cargill and Janesville on uh, July 1st, my first appointment, so I am petrified, but I'm more petrified about tripping during graduation. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to not annoying my entire family because someone else is moving me this time. <laughs> <laughs> and her brother and father and son say amen to that. <laughs> my name is Claudia Dini. I'm currently serving manual community as an associate pastor. That's in Menominee Falls. Uh, it's one of the suburbs of Milwaukee. I am moving a whole four miles away to the village of Sussex, and I will be serving as a solo pastor there, and I truly look forward to uh, meeting that congregation and working with them to help grow the congregation, revitalize it, and become uh, a vital part of the community. I'm Leanne Rose. I'm serving in Merrimack, Wisconsin. It's about 45 minutes away from Madison and the closest target. <laughs> I'm moving to Mineral Point, which is about an hour from Dubuque, an hour from Rockford, an hour from Madison. Um, and I am looking forward to a crash course in time management because it's a three-point charge with back-to-back -back services. <laughs> I am Irene Ferdigan, uh, I'm the wife of Pastor Dan. Um, what will I say? <laughs> Looking forward to meet new people at Cuba City. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, Jerome Trieva, I'm a staff very committee at Cornette Church in North of Madison, for 15 hours, of course, in Florida, I have a And um, me and her, our current pastor is here for 15 years, and we're looking forward to wishing her a very
And I'm Kate Prosser Jones, and I'm currently um, living on I-31 as a vagabond. Um, <laughs> I've been at Wendy School, but my husband lives in Oshkosh, and my house is in Kenosha. And um, I'm looking forward to, uh, I'm, I'm going to point back to London, and I'm looking forward to living in that beautiful community on two rivers and to serving on My name is Richard Olson, Rick Olson. I, uh, I guess my appointment has been to uh, 475 churches in Wisconsin. So I'm going to be moving to one church, Sheboygan St. Luke's, where I'll get to preach to them week in and week out starting tomorrow. I'm Jackie Gully and I'm on the SPRC committee at St. Luke United Methodist Church, and we're really looking forward to having Rick as a part of our congregation and ministering to us. And um, he's, he's been an inspiration in his, the way he's communicated with us so far. Great, thank you. Let's go to the next zero in front here. I'm Mark Wells, and I'm the associate pastor at Cargill United Methodist Church, and I'm moving to be the solo pastor at Edgerton United Methodist Church. And I'm so excited because I'm going to live in the community and give up my 100-mile commute. <laughs> I'm Vera Zeit from Edgerton uh, United Methodist Church. We're going to be welcoming Barb, and, um, and I'm an SKRC member. And we're looking forward to her excitement that's going to come to the church. And but we will miss Pastor Jean. I'm Stephen Zeit from Edgerton, and uh, we'll be welcoming Barb and her husband Jim from our church. Happy 
I'm Deb Tomlinson. I'm the SPRC staff um, chair in Marshfield at Wesley United Methodist Church. And the last few uh, pastors we had all retired. And so I'm super excited to have Pastor Joel joining us. He has a six year old son. So I think that's kind of exciting. And hopefully, you know, the young families and the kids are going to be super excited. And I think that's probably. I'm Joel Peter Rogers, currently serving South Milwaukee, obviously a suburb just south of Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, south of that great city where, you know, Cubs fans, when they play the Brewers, come north and the Flatlanders try to take over Miller Park, oftentimes unsuccessful. <laughs> Looking forward to uh, moving to Wesley Church in Marshfield and with God's help and, and the people there to uh, try to discern uh, how we can better uh, reach out in ministry to the downtown setting of which we're a part. I'm Jim Wells, spouse of Pastor Barb, and we're moving to Edgerton. I'm looking forward to uh, kind of returning to my small town roots. I was raised in Part of Wisconsin. And uh, yeah, we live in Madison now. That's the smallest place I've lived in the past four years. <laughs> <laughs> and we're moving to Edgerton. Really looking forward to it. And Edgerton is in Rock County, which is close to Illinois, but still comfortably within Wisconsin. <laughs>
Um, what we're looking forward to is uh, a new beginning, not only at our church, but the Fox Valley. And I'm Jim Albright, and I'm serving at the Fauna Peace and Joints in Need of Faith in the Fox Valley. And I guess one thing that's interesting and exciting is the experiences learned and putting that to work and doing the set and the challenges that come with that. So. I'm David Kim. I'm currently serving in Cuba City, which is in the southwest corner of the state, which is across from Dubuque and Stanza. And I am going to four and a half hours more to Antigo, Wisconsin, and I'm looking forward to living in a bigger community. I'm looking forward to learning how to snowshoe. That's going to be my next sport. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting snowshoe. I'm Pat Helm, SBRC Chair at Antigo, the Methodist Church, and um, we're looking forward to Debbie being our pastor. Uh, we're saying goodbye, Sandy, to our current pastor, who's retiring, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, new things and exciting. That's great. I'm Keith Wolf, and I'm a member of SDRC and Anico. Um, this is my, I've been a member there for 24 years, and this is uh, my fifth appointment. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward, you don't always get what God wants you know, you to have, and it's different. So I'm just being open-minded to what God has planned for us. But to be specific, one of the things that I'm really excited about is um, we are going to be uh, purchasing a projection system for our sanctuary for worship, and Deb has had experience with that. And I'm really looking forward to uh, you know adding more uh, media the ability to experience in a multimodal fashion liturgy. Thank you. I'm Aldine Doyle. Um, I'm the wife of Don Greer. Um, I'm just very thankful that we don't have to make a physical move, that uh, we'll be able to live in our home. And <coughs> I'm Don Greer. Uh, as Aldine said, we live in Milwaukee, uh, down the third door for the most part of the in the north. set forth and is leading us forward into the future and looking forward to sharing that with you. I'm Joe Beer, currently serving 
Barron, First United Methodist Church, which is evidently not as far north as Mercer, although I'm not sure where Mercer is, but we're about an hour north of Eau Claire. And um, I am going to be serving at Wesley in Kenosha, and I trust that Mark understands where Kenosha is, as most Chicago people do. Um, I'm looking forward, well, I, always, I said I was going to say I was looking forward to working with Paul because I thought that would give me a good start in that church. But, um, I am looking forward to um, not having to drive four and a half to seven hours to see family members whenever I want to. Um, I'm also looking forward to preaching three times on Sunday mornings. And um, I say that a little bit tongue-in-cheek, but the Wesley congregation is so active, active, I'm really looking forward to getting into those things. I'm Steve Carr. I'm currently serving at the Fountain Park Church in Sheboygan, an hour south of the frozen tundra, right on the shores of Lake Michigan. We'll be moving to River Falls to head up this church, uh, the other side of the planet. <laughs> I'm looking forward to working with a lot of active uh, laity and ministry teams in the River Falls congregation. It doesn't hurt that my three grandchildren are just across the river on uh, the land of the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Warren Waddell. I am serving in the tundra of Wisconsin. Uh, I am as far north uh, on uh, Green Bay as you can get and still be in Wisconsin. Uh, I am in the border of uh, Wisconsin and Michigan, serving in Marinette. Uh, I will be going to Fountain Park, United Methodist Church in Sheboygan, and I'm looking forward to coming off of three-quarter time to go to full-time ministry again. Uh, two jobs really take up a lot of time, <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. I'm Barbara Lurton from Sheboygan, Wisconsin, from St. Luke, and we've got Several people here, so we're sprinkled everywhere. I'm looking forward to welcoming Rick to our church and I'm praying for peace for our church. I am Lady Miller. I live in Oscar, but I go 
and a shirt of gel and it's a very nice surrender. All right, right. Thank 
Austin, and I'm currently serving as an associate pastor in Frederick St. Luke's and Holy Trinity, which is near Boston Lake, that is headed in the northwest portion of Wisconsin. I'm going to be moving to Duran, Wisconsin, which is, to me, quite central. Might still be a little north for some people. And I'm really excited about a number of things. One thing is um, my daughter is attending Menominee Stout and will be living with me while we move there. It's only 20 minutes south of Menominee, so that's really cool. And I also was very excited to see that the Spirit has blessed this congregation with the wisdom to provide snow removal. <laughs> Yeah. 